today we'll be talking about the term called visa retrogression for United States immigration process. When you're in the process of getting a United States permanent resident card or green card, your priority date is very important data point which helps to assess your position in the green card processing queue. Visa retrogression is a process of moving the priority dates backward. In this video, we will know what defines visa retrogression, why it is important, and what is the significance of this in your U.S. immigration journey. Visit us at Sword and V channel with your questions to see how best we can help you out with your process. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's get started. Every month, the U.S. Department of State releases a publication visa bulletin to show the position of your priority date in that month. When your priority date becomes current, you can either apply for adjustment of status if you are already in the United States with legal status, or you can choose the part of consular processing to apply for an immigrant visa at a U.S. embassy or consulate in your home country. But when a situation occurs when there are more visa applicants for a certain immigration visa category or countries than there are available visas for that man, in such situations, Department of State moves the current month immigrant visa or green card processing dates backward. This process is called a visa retrogression. Now let's understand how does it impact your green card or immigrant visa processing. As visa retrogression indicates that the priority dates will move backward. That means you will not be able to proceed to next step such as filing I-485 or adjustment of status of your green card processing. But what if you have already submitted your adjustment of status? or I-485 petition and visa retrogression is issued. Retrogressed visas will not be processed by officials at U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services USCIS, until the priority date for the applicant becomes current. This can end up meaning that a visa applicant is held in abeyance as USCIS explains until there are visas available again. During this ambience, the visa application will be held at USCIS location with a specific location depending on the type of visa being requested. Commonly, the possibility can be 1. The USCIS center where the original application was filed will continue to hold that application if no interview will be needed to process the case. 2. The Texas Service Center will hold employment-based visas when the required interview has been completed. 3. The National Benefits Center will hold family-sponsored visas when the required interview has been completed. You must have known by now that it is very important to monitor the monthly visa bulletin to find out if your visa application may be subject to retrogression. You can monitor the monthly visa bulletin by following our channel. You can also find the latest visa bulletin information from United States Department of State website. When visa retrogression comes into play, USCIS may require applicants to provide updated application materials when their priority dates finally become current. Therefore, it is advised that applicants keep their current address with the USCIS. While applicants wait for their priority dates to become current, they can apply for employment authorization to obtain permission to work in the U.S and or permission to travel outside of the United States. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you know anybody that could benefit from this information, definitely make sure to share this video with them. We are all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can benefit from this video, the more people will want watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs icon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe or hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!